Since the age of Ptolemy, until the eruption of Copernicus in the Renaissance, the conception of the universe remained essentially the same. Copernicus operates a revolution in the 16th century, the Copernican Revolution. Why the Copernican model is considered as a revolution? Copernicus inherited the framework of Ptolemy for explaining observations. He used spheres and epicycles, as Ptolemy did. However, locating the sun in the center. As a consequence, the Aristotelian concept could not be held anymore. The Earth was rotating around the Sun and also, and also around itself. This introduced a conceptual breakthrough, not only in terms of the relative location of the Earth, Sun and planets, yet because it was against the Aristotelian description of the universe and its physical laws. In fact, one of the arising questions coming from common sense at those days was why we do not fall down. Copernicus' model meant a complete mind revolution. So the question today is, which were the scientific theories capable of explaining why and how planets move, and how this fits with our daily life experience? Kepler, 60 years after the publication of Copernicus' work, took over the task of finishing the astronomical tradition of the antiquity. Kepler proposed a simpler description for planetary orbits. Instead of spherical epicycles, why could not the movement of the planets be adjusted to a, to a single curve? He formulated three empirical laws that are nowadays known as Kepler's laws, in which the movement of the planets around the Sun could be explained using ellipses. At the same time, Galileo started to dismantle the distinction between Earth and heavens. He observed with his telescope imperfection in, in, in the surface of the Moon, or moons in Jupiter for the first time. He strongly supported the Copernican model based on his observations, facing the religious mainstream that was still relying on the Aristotelian concept. Galileo's idea of the universe leads Newton and Hooke to conceive that the force that moves the planets should be the same as the force that makes things fall on the Earth. Newton would later on deduce the law of universal gravitation, one of the greatest scientific achievements of the humankind. His law was able to explain Kepler's laws, and you will learn more about this topic with Mario later this week. Altogether, Copernicus, Kepler, Galileo and Newton, with the contribution of many others, provided a scientific model capable of describing why and how planets move. The conception of the universe changed dramatically, from the Aristotelian cosmovision of the universe, of the two spheres, to a universe governed by physical laws in which the Earth was just an element within a much more complicated system. Now, space starts to be conceived as somewhere reachable.